Was this movie ever called a gay propaganda or um, you know, a recruitment for new homosexuals? How do you escape this kind of etic etiquette? I don't want to escape it. If someone says this is propaganda, I say, yes, it is. It is propaganda. The propaganda is that everyone is equal, everyone deserves to be treated as equal, everyone deserves respect, and I'm not in, even slightly ashamed of saying that I made a film to promote that. Why should I be ashamed of it? It's propaganda. I want gay people to be treated equally. You know, the, sorry, the thing that people, people always say, you know, we mustn't preach, people don't like us preaching, and the people who don't like homosexuality are really good at preaching and they're not ashamed of it, so we shouldn't be either. Um, based on your experiences with, with the play and the movie, how powerful or how useful theater or art is in changing, in making social change. Would you say that that's the best tool that we have or there are other options? Uh, is uh, like 70 minutes of this movie enough to change people's minds and hearts? Uh, it has been, obviously it doesn't change everyone's hearts and minds, but it has changed more than I even dreamed of and I dreamed quite big. Um, it's been an amazing response, but yes, I. My entire life is based around that belief that art can make a difference. I mean, the, ask any dictator or the, um, or, uh, or the Communist Party, you know, propaganda works. And so it, it, everyone knows that art is the best way of telling the religious stories. Art will last. You know, we don't, know what the, we don't even know what the cavemen look like, but we know what their art looks like. We can still see that we can't find them. They're gone, but we can find their art. Art will survive. Great art, important art, will survive. And art changed, art changed my life. I'm a kid from you know, a poor background, from a council estate with no opportunities um, other than art. And art has taken me all the way to Ljubljana. <laughs> and, um, and so I absolutely believe in it. And I encourage it and I want everybody in the world to make a film and everyone to paint a picture and to write a song or a poem or at least go to a gallery and be in that world of art. Because once you really find the artist in yourself, then the demons die. We've seen your characters, your friends growing up and facing uh, their own sexual identities. But in the movie we don't see you and your story about uh, your sexual identity. And supposing that you are gay, there might be some chances that you are. Um, not as a character, as a director and actor and, and everything that you do. Uh, so how it was for you growing up as a possibly gay person? And to what extent this experience is possibly <laughs> are put into this movie, just theoretically speaking. <laughs> um, my mum's gay, and so I was... It's not a joke. No, my mum is gay. It's not a joke. I wish it was a joke. It's not... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> my mum's a gay, and, um, and... But it's still difficult. I say that because, obviously, I didn't think I was going to get thrown out of home. Um, but it was still really difficult to be out to that uh, because it was boring to be gay as well. I don't want to do what my mum's doing. <laughs> uh, it's, that's boring. And so, um, uh, but obviously I was raised in a family that is very accepting. Um, and it's a multiracial family and a multicultural family. Um, so... But I came up in a really tough neighborhood, really racist neighborhood, and very homophobic neighborhood. And I learned very early that, um, I mean, I, growing up, I liked boys and girls, and I was just completely fluid. And, and I learned very early, like most of us learned, that you can't um, speak to everybody about this and get a good reception. But I was never afraid of who I was. And um, I, I don't know why, it must be my mother. It definitely was, it was my mother's. And so, because um, my mother told me 
that when she, um, she decided to have her first child and she was very young and she knew she was gay and she was a black woman in very white London at the time and had no money and she's, I think she's beautiful, but she's short and she's curvy and she's not what the, the whole media was telling you was gonna be a success. And she said she looked in the mirror and she saw this swelling and she knew that she was doing the right thing. And she said she looked at herself and said, no matter what happens, I'll always have this, this. I'll always have this person in the mirror and that's enough. And so she, she passed that on to all of us. And I know that I always knew that I was enough, that there was nothing wrong with me. There was no, mis no mistakes had been made on me, that I was beautiful and perfect and I was worthy. I belonged here. And so that got me through a lot of very difficult times. And so my way was to make the films and the plays when I was young and get all the people, including the bullies, to be in my films. And that was my way of, um, of overcoming all those obstacles. And it still is. Okay, your turn. <laughs> it's always like that. <laughs> <laughs> They're so shy. Do you two get divorced so, in the end? Do I get divorced? You're trying to get my husband. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, why do you think we'd get divorced in the end? I'm not, I would never let him go. <laughs> um, you mean, obviously you mean my husband in the film, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's a wonderful, wonderful actor. We're not lovers, because I know you're wondering, right? <laughs> and everyone's like, is that your real husband? No, but... Um, we played lovers a few times, and he's amazing, amazing. He, we don't show his body in this. You oh, played lovers. Wow. We played lovers a few times. I love my job. Wrote, wrote. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lexi, you, he asked, he asked if he could be my husband in this. I would like to ask, uh, in this film, it's partially, but in your other film that was launched in the same year, Kickoff. Ah, yes. Seen, Have you seen it? Uh, what is the official answer? Yes, I've seen it. Ah. <laughs> Uh, so sport, you, you choose it as, a, let's say, a base ground, everybody's equal and... Yeah, like yeah I love sport and um, I grew up in a very, I'm not a big football fan, but my family is, they're all, all of them are crazy about it, <laughs> crazy about it. And, um, and so I kind of, um, so I brought up with a lot of football, so I enjoyed making a film that's all around football and using that as a metaphor for uh, all this, the, uh, if you've seen it, you know, and all the surprises and things that can happen in a game. Because um, it's set, you know, it's, I made a film called Kickoff that's set in real time. They arrive, they argue, they start playing the match, they start biting, and then they leave. And it's all done in, in real time, and the camera co goes around the pitch to all the different characters. And some of the same actors you may have noticed playing very different parts are, are there. Um, and so I really, I like sport because, um, uh, because it's fun and it's fun to film and it's sexy and you know and all of those things and also when you're appealing a lot of homophobic people like sports so it's a really good way to bring them in I, I'll be honest um, so yeah I like using sport but other things as well my other film Bashment um, is is all set in the world of hip-hop and ragga, reggae music and and urban music so there's that and every film is set in a different environment um, as you hopefully will see. <laughs>